I really, really enjoy Riot Games. There are probably many things that contribute to this fact. Their fun and gorgeous art direction for their all of their games, their well-designed gameplay, and my general masochism. Now, I'm very, very much your average filthy casual. I'm not a high rank when I do play ranked, but I typically just avoid ranked altogether. More than anything, Riot Games have been perfect to play with those friends of mine that have shitty computers, don't really want to spend money on big premium games, those types of things. And Riot's general avoidance of pay to win just makes them a pretty perfect studio for your casual lads. There is another thing I find incredibly intriguing about Riot and their games though, and that's how their longest running game, League of Legends, acts as a form of time capsule into the history of monetization, because they've done it all, baby. I've done a video on how much I despise live service in the past, and in that video I touched on this topic of predatory microtransactions a little bit, but truly I wanted to wait until this video on Riot to really dive into that topic a little bit deeper. The plague for League of Legends started small. Premium skins, icons, eventually rolling all of those into infamous loot boxes, where League of Legends is actually still one of the few holdouts that has hasn't let the damned things go. And as of today, in the modern day, League of Legends is monetized out the wazoo. Tiered skins that go from basic to ultimate, which are actually relatively affordable. And then we had Mythic Essence, something you could only earn from chance, events, or now even from a mini form of battle pass that exists for masterwork chests. The Mythic Essence was used for limited edition rare items, essentially valuing them through the grinding events and battle passes to earn the essence, or praying for that 0.04% chance to pop. And now, they are rolling out a $200 gin skin recolor, which I'm a gin main, so this hurts me physically. I am a sucker, a big loser, a big dumbo bumbo. For I have bought every gin skin up to this point. I will not be buying a $200 recolor of a skin I already own that arguably looks worse than the original. That might be copium talking though. This is still disappointing however. It ruins the joy I've had in owning each skin. I am dumb. Riot, but not enough to buy regurgitated shit at that large of an upsell. Of course, if you do want to purchase that $200 skin, you can rest assured knowing you will have some currency left over to make your OCD commit die. As each bundle of Riot points does not perfectly equal a skin, it always leaves you with a little bit left over. Not enough for a chest, maybe enough for a key. But this isn't the only game in Riot's catalog that engages in this shit. In fact, all of them do. But the main one I wish to speak about with you now is Valorant. I adore Valorant. It's one of my favorite games to play right now, as embarrassing as that is to admit. I've been playing since the beta, and I've just enjoyed how intriguing it's been to pick about the mechanics and to figure out how it really ticks, because the game really does have a lot going for it. However, despite my love for the game, I have great disdain for how it fleeces its consumers. I did a more relaxed video on Valorant microtransactions about two years ago with my good friend Kodak. We basically ranted about this for 30 or so minutes, and if you want to watch an older video that's less filtered than this take, I recommend giving it a look. However, here I'm going to distill some of those points into this video in a more updated and palatable way, if that makes sense. Valorant skins are expensive. Expensive. Absurdly so. CSGO is infamous for how pricey its skins can be, but there's a market in place to justify that. If you get an incredibly expensive skin in CSGO, it's worth that money. Valorant is a more middle ground, being quite expensive and also being worth literally nothing. Other than maybe if you sold your whole account, allow me to give you a taste of how much Valorant skins cost, assuming you're outside of that whole bubble, which good for you. <laughs> Most full bundles that contain about four to five skins and maybe a dongle and banner typically will run you around $70 to $80, which does mean you will have to purchase a $50 pack of Valorant currency and then a $20 or so dollar pack of currency on top of that. Unless you just want to shell out the $100 to avoid 
any confusion. They purposely price these bundles to put you in that position. It also teases you by mentioning that the knife skin, which almost every bundle has, comes with it for free. And that's because the knife skins in Valorant are massively overpriced. Your typical knife skin will run you $35, and some going beyond that into the $50 range. This is goddamned ridiculous, no doubts about it. Everything is so well designed to make these bundles feel like a deal, despite being absurdly priced. Making the knife skins feel incredibly valuable, and then making them free in a limited time bundle is genuinely ingenious. And while your shop does cycle daily through a couple skins each day, they run you a much heftier price than if you were to get them in the bundle. But that's not all. Everything in their monetization weaves together, because when you buy their bundle, you will find that the skins are without their fancy effects you just paid for. Now you need 10 Radianite to upgrade your gun skin by one tier to gain some of the effects, typically requiring you to upgrade it to three tiers. Not to mention, the different colorations cost you another 15 Radianite. So how much does this second currency called Radianite cost. For 80 Radianite, it'll run you just about $50. But never fear, Riot has your back. The best and cheapest way to earn Radianite is the Battle Pass. The Battle Pass, when fully maxed out, earns you typically around 130 Radianite. And to fully upgrade a skin and get that coloration you like, it will most likely cost you 45 Radianite to upgrade just one of your guns to full tier plus a color. This means one $10 Battle Pass nearly upgrades three guns that you already paid for, and that's assuming you grind out that battle pass. I still have skins that I have not maxed out yet. Essentially boiled completely down, Riot's main strategy is false scarcity, making skins feel more valuable and special than they really are, making their whales feel more unique. It's just slowly beginning to feel very similar to the mobile gaming landscape, which I really despise the idea of. It really just seems like it's starting to slip further and further into the AAA gaming space. In general, while I know Riot is so disgustingly successful that none of this will change or get better, I still hope this video was either cathartic for you to hear, or maybe just intriguing to see how much we Riot gamers hate ourselves and our money. So, what do we say, kids, when our friend asks for us to play a Riot game with them? No. Just, just say no. Anyhow, thank you so very much for watching. If you found this video entertaining or interesting, don't forget to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more content similar to this, don't forget to give that subscribe button $35 for its purple variant. But most importantly, have a wonderful day, and don't get scammed by Riot. And don't die, obviously.